Hey, I'm Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor and one of my Tidy Tutor peeps on my private Facebook page asked me why it's so hard to finish projects and how can we make sure that we do? So I'm going to answer that question right here for you as well. So the reason that it's so hard for us to finish projects is because of the personality that we have. Our kind of personality is spontaneous. We get really excited about things and we get really bored with things quickly. We're more right-brained than left-brained. We are carefree and we really don't like to live um, within the lines, right? So when we start something, we start it with really a lot of gumption. We're really excited to get started. We get tired of it really soon just because of our nature. So what we have to do is trick ourselves into finishing the project. So you have to find something that you can do when it gets to a certain point that you know you want to abandon it and you know that's going to come, right? So you, when you get to that point where you want to abandon it, you have to find something that will get you as excited as you got when you started. So let's say you're going to paint a room, right? Normally, you're really excited to get started doing that. Maybe you want to, um, you know, just freshen it up. Maybe you're going to have a party and you really want that room to look great for the party. Maybe you're having company come over for, and you haven't seen them in a long time. And you'd really love to spruce up the house. Maybe you just got some new furniture and you're like, I really want to make this room what I've always wanted it to be, right? There's all these reasons that we have for wanting to paint a room and they're usually pretty fun reasons. But what happens is we get halfway through and then we say, why did I even start this? I hate this. The room color was just fine the way it was before. So here's what I do. I paint the wall that the window is on first because by the time I get to the second wall and I'm more than halfway through when I know I want to quit and I wish I never started, that wall with the window on it is now dry. So I can get the curtains, hang the curtains up on that window and it builds another jaunt of excitement in me. I'm like raring to go to get started again because now I'm excited. Not only did I get the break from, oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. I got a break, but I also got to do something that lightened, that made a light in my spirit about what it was that wanted me to start this project in the first place. And then I'm really happy to move on. I don't feel that dread of, I don't want to do this anymore. Now, if I get another, another place, another space, especially if it's a room that's difficult to paint with a lot of cutting in and stuff, then I might get to another place where I feel like that again. Then I'll hang pictures on the wall that has dried the second wall that was painted and that will do it all over again. So you have to think of something you can do to excite you, whatever project it is that you started, to excite you back into the same mode you were when you began it. Now, if it turns out that you can't do that, like for whatever reason, this project doesn't have that emotional attachment to it, then a timer is gonna be your best friend. Set a timer for 15 minutes minimum, 30 minutes or 50, five zero minimum minutes maximum. Now, the reason you don't want to go to an hour is because sometimes we feel like, oh my God, a whole hour. Oh, I got to do this for an hour. But you could say to yourself then, look, it's not even an hour. We can do anything when we know that there is an end in sight. We have this warped perception of time, us right-brained people, right? I call us organizationally challenged. We have this warped perception of time and we think everything takes so long and we'll never finish. So if you have something that you have to do for 15 minutes in your mind, you can wrap yourself around that, do it for 15 minutes and you're done. Okay. Now it doesn't mean you're going to be done with the project, but you are going to be done with a joint of it, a section of it. Now you set the timer again. Now I suggest that if you do 15 minutes, 
set the timer again for another 15 minutes. But if you set it for 30 minutes or 50 minutes, take a break, do a 15 minute break, but make sure you mind that timer and then go back to it and just keep telling yourself, when I'm done with this, you know, 15 minutes, the next one is going to, I'm going to be further along with it and I'm going to finish this project. And so do the best you can to remind yourself why you started it. None of us ever start a project or do something that we either need to do or want to do without a reason. Like maybe it's a car that you need to be working on. You're working on a car or a home improvement project and you know, you're, you're fixing the molding or something in the house. It isn't exactly fun, but when you got started doing it, there was a reason. Either you had to have it finished because of necessity's sake or you really wanted to. Either one of those things, you can conjure up those feelings, those emotions that, that got you started in the first place. So with that and the timer, you really will be able to succeed and, you know, finish the job. Now, if it turns out that the job is something that just cannot be done in one day, then set yourself up for success. Make sure that you put away everything that you have. Um, you know, like make an area so that your project will not be an eyesore for you to see day after day after day or your family or company or anything like that. Make it be that you put it all away in a, in a fashion that is comfortable for you to live with until you can get back to it. Another thing to do if you can't do it all at the same time is put a date on your calendar where you're making an appointment for yourself to finish the job. So say you're, you can only do it on the weekends. This is Saturday. I'm going to do it again on Saturday, next Saturday. Go on your ne go in your calendar, put in there next Saturday at whatever time, choose a time and keep this appointment with yourself. It's very important. Your life is important. What you have to do at home is important. Organizationally gifted people always know that it's okay to say no if it, it, it is a conflict with their schedule. So if somebody calls you and asks you to do something and it happens to be that time, don't feel like, oh no, I can do that at any time. Yeah, sure, I'll come. Don't do that. Give yourself the respect that you deserve and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't. I have this appointment with myself. I have a project that I started and I need to finish it. So that is another thing if you can't do it all at one time. Now, I do have to mention this. I talk about this in my course, Tidy Tootie University, and with my insider's peeps, that you have to do what you gotta before you do what you wanna. So if it turned out that you woke up in the morning and you were excited to do a project and you didn't do all of those things that you have to do to make life livable, like you ate breakfast, you didn't clean up your breakfast dishes, you got out of bed, you didn't make your bed, you just started your project and you didn't groom yourself, you have a load of clothes in the dryer that you just left there to get all wrinkled and stuff, or you have them dumped out on the couch and they haven't been folded yet. You know, those loose end things. I'm not talking about making sure the house is all clean and stuff. Because if you're in the position where you're just getting started, like, you know, especially that it's New Year's right now when I'm doing this video. If you're saying this year I'm going to get organized and you're just getting started with that, then it might be that the house really is a wreck and you really can't clean it up. But you can take care of the loose ends that loom over your head and make you feel like crap while you're doing yet another thing when you knew you should have been doing other things that were way more important to your everyday life. So if that's the fact that you're, you've got a project going and you still have all these loose ends, it's going to be really difficult for you to want to stay the course. You're going to have even a harder time to um, get past that point of, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. So if that happens, 
then when you get to that point of I don't want to do this anymore then do the best you can to contain your work that you're working on so that it's not a disaster right clean up about it okay if you have sawdust on the floor if you have paint things out if you have any crafting items that are you know all over the place on the dining room or something straighten it out okay put it in a decent order and then go and tie up those loose ends fold the clothes that need to be folded and put them away do the dishes that you have left out make your bed get yourself together I uh, even if the work that you're doing is something that like makes a mess or will make you dirty still get yourself together if it's paint then put on some paint clothes but make them decent paint clothes you know something that you feel good in something that if you needed to run out to the hardware store you actually could wearing what you're wearing you don't want to look like a crazy person getting stuff done it sends a message to your psyche that you're not very important that what you're doing is is kind of meaningless and that you don't matter we want to always feel like we matter and we send that message to ourselves by how we you know groom ourselves every day so even if that's something that you haven't done do that do all of those things and then go back to your project not only will you be setting yourself up so that the next time you hit one of those dives that you don't want to finish you can do a little trick and get yourself to finish set a timer whatever it is but also when you are done with it you're going to just feel good you, you're going and, and, and something else too is that when you do get back to it having done all of those things is kind of like equal to my hanging the curtains on the wall it, it'll revive that you know desire to do the project okay so that was my tip if you don't know anything about me i am i'm kathy roberts i'm the tidy tutor and I would love for you to go to my website, thetidytutor.com. I teach a course called Tidy Tutor University. You get the instructor with the instruction and you cannot lose. If you have always wanted to get organized, you are in the right place. Please see this as a serendipitous moment. And it is something that really you've been looking for and you found it. So if you go to my website, thetidytutor.com, right there on the top, you'll see um, information that you need to get about what my Tidy Tutor University course is all about. Okay, so that's that for this. I'll see you another time on my Facebook page or on YouTube or on my website page. Thanks a lot for being here. Take care.